what's good my loves welcome 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 back to my channel for the ones that are new welcome to nelly's tarot and more like share and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what's good with you for the weekend of the 27 to the 29 of december 2019 the last weekend of the year the very very last as usual for the weekend readings we use the happy thought cards i keep saying i'm gonna find out the real name i'm gonna find out the real name it's gonna have to stay happy thoughts okie dokie my loves let's start with aries what is gooey aries on the weekend of December 27 to December 29, 2019. Keep in mind, you share your sign with so many people. It might not resonate with you. So there is a lot of tarot readers, great tarot readers, that you can look them up for the reading of preferences. Hopefully, it gets to resonate. Oh, I am so sorry. I had like a little runny nose. You know how it is. Kids get sick. Mom gets sick too. Unless she's vegan. <laughs> My loves, I remember when I went vegan, treating my breast cancer with vitamin B17. I barely got sick. Barely. Mind you, when I was on those days of the month, I barely had cramps. And the flow wasn't heavy at all. I'm telling you, I recommend the diet. It's just, I'm a steak type of person. And I love milk on my coffee and sugar. Yes, I do. Okie dokie, Aries. I shuffled enough. What is good with you on the last weekend of December 2019? This year went by so fast. I hope you accomplished a lot of good things in this year. If you didn't, you know what? You have 2020, a brand new decade just to get stuff done and plan ahead you have four cards aries one is when i'm in alignment with the love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted that's card number one card number two my vibes speak louder than words this is very true, Aries. Third card is my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. And last but not least, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. There you have it, Aries. Now we're going to go with Taurus. Taurus, what's good with you on the last weekend of December 2019? Ooh. Don't mind me. I'm a little tired. But I need to get everything done. I don't know what time I'm going to bed, but... I'm going to try to finish everything I propose for me to finish today. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> One of my favorite movies of my childhood. Besides E.T. No, nope. No cards is flying for you, Taurus, yet. Taurus, which one is your card? For the last weekend of December 2019. Ooh, I am so sorry. I did not nap today. Good look 
for me. I'm trying to nap while the kids are on Christmas vacation. <laughs> while they are home on Christmas vacation. I am excited. I really am. You know, this holiday season. Oh, this one just flipped, but didn't go nowhere. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. That was for you, Taurus. Gemini. What is popping with all my Geminis on the last weekend of December 2019? As we get in old, time flies. Gemini, you have, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Gemini, it's been a rough year. But you got so much so much love and support is not even funny maybe you gotta sit down and analyze how loved and supported you are i'm telling that to my son by the way and i'm telling to any gemini that can resonate no i don't wanna <laughs> my oct is acting right now no, make sure they are the same <laughs> on the same side. Cancer. What is good with my cancerians on the last weekend of December 2019? You got two cards. They all popping out fast. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light that's for you cancer and the other one is i surrender to a power greater than me does this have to do about your 2020 reading i think so I surrender to a power greater than me. It resonates with that reading. So, I'm going to leave the links down below. So, you guys can check out your individual reading. It's an advice reading for each sign. With the Oracle of the Maya. Those cards, I'm telling you, I don't regret getting them. I don't. But it's not for every week reads. Maybe, maybe a monthly advice. I don't know. Let me think about it because I'm a mom of five. Well, I'm a mom of six, five at home. Let me rephrase that. My oldest is 22. He doesn't live with me no more. I had two daughters. I am a grandma, in case you didn't know. Leo, what is popping with you on this upcoming, no, on the last weekend of December? Let me rephrase that. Let me make it correct, because I already did this weekend. Leo! was popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019 you can see I'm tired and you know what it's Friday night right now this is waiting for me yes yes baby baby <laughs> I'm not a clubbing person. It will have to be. 
a good concert, a good event that I say I can, I have to go, because I don't go nowhere, and I'm not complaining. Leo, what is good with you on the last weekend of December 2019? Leo! <laughs> what is popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? You have one card, Leo. And it says, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. This is very true, Leo. Now we're going with Virgo. Virgo, what is good with you on the last week of December 2019? Oh, I am so sorry, my loves. Excuse moi. Virgo, what is good with you on the last weekend of December 2019? I am so excited for 2020. It's not even funny. My kids are excited too. For some reason, one of my kids thought they were going to go to a new school. I don't know why. Virgo, what is popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? Okie dokie, you have I'm unapologetic. I'm unapologetic about what I dis what I deserve. Oh, let me get some water because I'm like <laughs> a lot of talking today. I think I spoke more than the president in one day. I don't think so. It was a joke. <laughs> Virgo, I am unapologetic about what I deserve and trust what I focus on will grow. Yes, indeed, Virgo. You're that type of person. Libra, what is popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? Libra, what is popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? With the happy thoughts cards. Yes, I figure you might have a rough week. Let's get some positive messages for the weekend. Libra, you have attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. Take that as it resonates, Libra. Scorpios! What's popping with all my Scorpios on the last weekend of December 2019? What's popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? No, it's just one card. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. Hi, that card feels so good. That card feels so good. I still had a little sadness 
from Virgo. Virgo, please, my loves. Please, my loves. Take my advice. That's for, from the All Signs 2020 readings. You. Two days in a row. You know, I'm feeling really bad for what, what came out in your cars. And like, I could feel your pain. I could... This right here it takes a lot of energy out of us. It sucks it right out of us. That's why we are light workers. Sagittarius, what is good with you, party animal? On the last weekend of December 2019, listen, don't deny it. You guys party like it's your birthday every, every month. And that's okay. It's okay to be happy all year round. What? I'm telling you, Sagittarius, you have my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. What was I talking about? I think this is the second time that happened to me today. I'm talking about Saji. Oh, this and that about Saji. And then the card says something similar. He's telling you I'm not playing. Tarot doesn't play either. Capricorn. Happy birthday to you. What is cool with you? On the last weekend of December 2019. Some of you are going to be celebrating your birthday. Mm -mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this water. Amen. Capricorn, what is good with you? On the last weekend of December, 2019. What is popping with you, Capricorn? On the last weekend of December, 2019. You have how many cards? You have one. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Birthday boy, birthday girl. Hey, card number one, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. The second one, I'm sorry, my lips are like a little choppy. <laughs> you know, ladies. When your lips are a little choppy and then like a little skin from your lip falls out with your red lipstick. I don't know why it happens with red lipstick. Anyways, card number two Capricorn. It's when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Please Capricorn, listen to me one more time. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. The third one is when I lean on certainly on cer certain I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me one second. Here he comes. Certainty. 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 When I lean on a certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Capricorn. Listen. 
oneness is my true nature then you have i do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness and last but not least when i think i surrender i surrender more there you have it capricorn happy birthday i don't even remember how many cards you got but you got quite a few aquarius what is popping with all my aquas on the last weekend of december 2019 no it's not your cards Aquarius, what is good with you, my loves? On the last weekend of December 2019, I remember those clubbing days. I remember them really good. No more of those. And that's okay. You got three cards, Aquarius. One is, I surrender to a power greater than me. Then the following one is my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the word gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost This was a very deep message and last but not least, you have, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. This was very nice, Aquarius. What's good with my fellow Pisceans? On the last weekend of December, 2019. What's popping? With all my Pisces on the last weekend of December 2019. This year flew so fast. I remember receiving 2019 with my little ones. Now I'm receiving another year with them. No, they staying with me for New Year's. They're not going with your father. I gotta see if that, no, New Year's is on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, which it doesn't follow on a weekend. I'm gonna miss them on Christmas. I'm gonna really do, but I have to share them. That is the reality. When you separate from somebody that you have kids with, you have to share them. You have to share them. Pisces, where is your card? For the last weekend of December 2019, you got how many? You got three cards. The first one is, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. This is very truth. The second one is, I honor how I want to feel. And last but not least... True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. There you have it, Pisces. Let's go to collective. What is good with all my collectives? On the last weekend of December 2019.
Collective. What is popping with you on the last weekend of December 2019? Collective. Which one is your card for the last week? Last weekend. Last weekend of December 2019. What is popping with my collectives? Here are two cards. One is the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. And the last one, it says, my fearless freedom lights up the world. This was a nice read. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what's good, what's popping on the last weekend of December 2019. God bless you, my loves. Take care. Have a nice holidays. Have a nice end of the year. And Happy New Year. 2020. Take care, my loves. See you next time.